You see two of them? Yes. Hmm, there, nice. there, there, there. See? There. Oh, there. Hmm. He's coming back. Down. He's coming down? Yes. Oh, he's coming down. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're the cutest. <laughs> Whoa. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Good job. You got it. Oh, what a beautiful lady. Hey, sister. Hey, my soul sister. <laughs> oh, my God. Holler oh. monkey. Where is it? Let's go find it. Come on. Let's go find it. Did they find it? Well, we just heard it in there somewhere. Whoa. Where is he? Oh, I see him. It's so loud. <gasps> there he is. That is the closest that we've been to hearing, to seeing the howler monkey and hearing the howl. Love that. The howler monkey's back there. He's so pretty. Wow. That thing is ginormous. How did it climb up there without oh. using other trees That's until incredible. there? This one's just like, eh, it's not Manuel Antonio. It's just as cool. Yeah. This place is really beautiful and a lot less crowded than Manuel Antonio. Um, the biggest thing, the biggest problem that I had when trying to book a place here is the accommodations are actually pretty expensive for pretty mm, subpar accommodations. It was really hard to find anything that wasn't over $500 for two nights that had air conditioning. And that, and because this is on the coast, it's in the high 80s with high humidity. And we just weren't willing to stay in a place with no air conditioning in such hot temperatures with little ones. I would say if you're fine with subpar accommodations and you want a national park with a beautiful beach um, that is cheaper, pay by donation, you don't have crazy people whistling you, flagging you down like in Manuel Antonio, then this is probably a great place to come. We've already seen Howler Monkey, Capuchin, iguana so we've definitely seen animals so far i still recommend manuel antonio it's so beautiful the accommodations are cheaper you get nicer accommodations for cheaper with air conditioning there's a lot more restaurants um so it's kind of like give and take right yes we got one oh, we got one we got one oh, it's so hard to see though you can kind of see the blue land we got one on film. It's right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's right so by us. Cool. It's huge. Did it land? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's staying on the trail. Okay, he's coming. Stop. There's two. There's two. Oh, oh my gosh. Yay. That's so cool. I've been wanting to get those on film. Yeah, Hi, friends. Dancing. Okay. That, was me. that was so cool. <laughs> we were trying to get these on film. We finally got them and they did like a little dance for us. It was so cool. It was awesome. So I think that might be one of my favorite facts that we've learned is that they actually aren't blue. 
they're brown, but because of the way they are created, I don't know, the sun shines on them and that's what makes that blue uh, color. Oh, crocodile. Oh, that's what they're talking about right there. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Wow. <gasps> look at all these butterflies. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. Can you see the orange and yellow ones? I don't know if you can. Oh, another crocodile spot. Okay, so here's the thing. I was quite nervous in the beginning coming to Costa Rica because of all like the knowledge that there's crocodiles and some of the most venomous snakes and poison dart frogs and just like so many dangerous things here that I was quite nervous. I was like, okay, how are we gonna be in the wild and yet navigate it? And it's so interesting, it's like, you're you're in nature you're in the wild with where there are crocodiles and jaguars and coatis and caimans and venomous snakes and poison dart frogs like they're all around us right it's part of the experience and as long as you stick to the trails you you're smart you use common sense like you're totally fine and, and that's what I've really come to learn about Costa Rica and not fear it and be able to go out and explore without being afraid. Um, especially having children, especially young ones, that's a definite concern. So that's what I love about Costa Rica. And so if you're, if you're worried about that, you don't need to be. Just be smart, stick to the trails and get guides, learn about your surroundings, learn about what's What's safe, what's dangerous? The thing that gave me more confidence to explore this nature was a guide because he helped us understand this area. He helped us understand the plants, the animals, and to know how to be safe here. I have to show you how beautiful this is. Look at that. The trail is just right along this beautiful beach. Oh my goodness. This is breathtaking. Wow. And then you come in here, oh my goodness. Grace, oh, that's camera. a video. <laughs> oh, with their glasses on. Oh my gosh, this trail is the best. Ah! <laughs> Run. I love this trail. It's amazing, it's beautiful. The butterflies. Oh, good butterflies. They have an abundance of butterflies here. Lizard, lizard. Oh yeah, lizard. What is? What? It's a snake. Where? Where? On the tree right here. It's kind of shaking. You see it? No. It's a super long snake. Holy crap! I don't really. see it. Right here. His head is in the branches right there. Oh, there we go. Isn't right there. Crazy? So it's a long tail right right here. there. Right here. Shaking its That's head. That's a snake. So it looks like a, a branch almost. Where? Yeah, it's shaking. Right there's there. his head. I don't know what kind of snake that is, but we probably better keep yeah, going. Keep where? Going. Where? Go. Oh, wow. Look at that orb spider. That is a big one. Let's come right there. Now you can see it. Ooh. Wow, look how pretty! Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's jump down. Ready? Jump! Whoa! Okay, you jump down. Woohoo! Whoa, that palm tree fell over. Wow, this is such a cool hike. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Run! <laughs> that almost got me. <laughs> Baby howler monkeys, they said. They're 
the baby. Hi, little baby. And if I turn it this way, we can get a mommy and a daddy and a baby. And this way, you can see another one over in that left corner. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, the boys found more capuchins. Look at that. What's up, dude? Hey. Hi. He's got you my sword. He's going right above our heads. Daddy turned around. What the heck is that? It's not a howler sound. No. What was that? You know what that was? He doesn't know what that was. Hmm. You know what that was? Hey. Another one. Hi, hey, bud. You saw this blue morphle that was like the blue. It was all blue and it was like way more brilliant than the other one. Wow. Oh yeah, it had like transparent spots. Oh my gosh. It was the prettiest butterfly. Ever. I love this hike right along the water here. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Mommy, get ready to be scared of the water. Okay, I'm gonna run. Ah! <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Mom's gonna have to wait for this one. And, 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 go! Ah! Go! 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 That one died. We made it to the point. Oh, the baby's so tiny. Do you see the mama one? Yeah. The baby one? Right there. Do you see it? Do you yeah, do you see it, Grace? Yeah. Look at the baby. Hey, look that way. So when you see your baby. That's the tiniest little baby. Can you hold that baby? It's so cute. Hey, Gracie. Can you wave to mama? You throwing it in there? Well, we had about 20, 25 minutes here. Absolutely worth the hike. Like, unbelievably beautiful. The current for them is too strong, so they can't really swim out too much. But I think it was worth it the hike alone it was gorgeous this part of the beach closes at two so we actually have to leave in like five minutes and then the other part of the beach way over there closes at three that's our well i guess stay here grace stay here okay we don't want to be we don't want to be too close they're protecting the baby from the raccoon The entrance is down here. We hiked all the way to that point right there. It's taken us, how long do you think? About an hour? Oh, it feels like longer. Two, so it's 311. Yeah. So it takes about an hour and a half to get to that point. Yeah. But it was really pretty and cool. It was such a cool hike. I definitely highly recommend it just for the hike. Maybe not necessarily for swimming and snorkeling unless you take a boat because it's um, you're not allowed to go snorkeling without a guide here. Uh, but the hike is is amazing. It's probably the prettiest hike we've done here. There's just no comparison to any of the hikes we've done here. So there hasn't been a lot of hikes. It's more just like treks through the rainforest. And this definitely was, but it was like so beautiful. So, I, I don't know of anything like it that we have done. We haven't done anything like it. I'd highly recommend it.